Okay, so today I'm going to show you my March 10th, um, 2020 a garden diary update as I'm doing container gardening, gardening. I'm trying to keep track of how everything's working um, so I know what to do again and what not to do. So we're going to start over here in this corner. And this first tub um, is pumpkins. And this one's a Gerhardo, um, like a tealish pumpkin. And then over here is going to be a Connecticut squash pumpkin. So one will grow out that way. And then this one will grow out this way. And then in the middle for now, I'm taking, making use of the space right here, I have China Rose radishes. And then in the back here, you'll see a pea. And um, I have two corn plants that'll come up. Even if they don't produce corn, um, I'm gonna use them for the trellising. Back there is gonna be a Navajo sunset, um, I'm gonna say it wrong, Agaste, Agastache. I'm gonna use that for tea. <coughs> Down here is going to be a, another herb. I'm gonna be moving a calendula over here. And then I'm gonna put, um, I think I'm possibly gonna put my dill in there. This container here has scallop squash, so that's what that is right there. And then from what I've read, I thought this was a vine, but it's more of a bush. So I went ahead and I put in a Jenny Golden Melon um, right into here. There's a stick sticking up and um, I direct sow the seeds there. So when that pops up, I'll have the vine go in this back area. And then that is a borage plant. In here, I have four jalapeno pepper plants. And then coming up right here, you can see onion. So I have globo onion, um, three, one, two, and three. And then I have another one over here and another one over here. Just making use of that in-between space. And then over here, I have the mini bell peppers that are all different colors. And down straight down the center row, I had some um, carrots um, that I had gotten at a um, seed library. So I just planted a few carrots right in the middle right here. Um, while well, these are still babies. These are my um, grande bell peppers, both of these. And I got these at the dollar store, so I'm hoping they produce well. Uh, most of my other seeds I got at Baker Creek. Um, and then I had a couple that I got at seed libraries and so forth. That's a calendula. Over here is mountain mint that I started from seed indoors and moved it out. It's slow going. Um, even the ones inside still are really slow going, but they do have multiple sets of leaves. Over here are radishes that'll be done. There's four radishes in there. Those will be done in about two weeks. And then um, some cosmic purple carrots. Over there is another calendula and one of these is going to be moving into this space back here. And these big old tubs, I have two tomatillo plants and then a borage in that back corner. I have another borage in that back corner and then two Bonnie Best tomato plants. On the front of both of these, I have some sweet basil. I had some issues with tomato hornworms last year when this was underneath my light over here. And so I'm hoping that the borage and then the basil will let me know if I get tomato hornworms again and I can pick them off faster. I have um, the bicolor colossal marigolds going on. I've got one there, another one there. And those are doing really well. Those leaf, though, that particular marigold is edible, which is nice. This is a peppermint plant. 
And then these are my first carrots that I'll be able to harvest at the beginning of April. I'm really excited about that. I've actually never grown carrots before. Most of the stuff I haven't grown before from, none, none of it from seed. So I'm excited to see how it all works. So those are more cosmic purple carrots. Over here is kind of like my herb tower. I had some Greek oregano left over from last year, so I transplanted it into here, and I have so much new growth in here. It's amazing how much this is taking off. Um, I've been having to keep an eye on, I've had a couple slugs go across here, snails, so I am keeping an eye on that, but there is a ton of new growth. Super excited. And then back here is just some regular oregano that I had started from seed. So those are growing. I had four that I had started from seed, but two have really established and um, take good root and are actually growing. Next to that is regular thyme. And um, I'm gonna have to rotate this box. So there's, you can see, those are actually growing quite a bit. I got those from seed. So they're doing what they're supposed to. I have four in there. And I'm hoping to fill up this whole tote eventually. I've got some cilantro and some spinach growing. And because the cilantro takes a while and it's gonna get really hot here, um, I went ahead and started seeds in between here. That way, um, when these are ready to harvest, I'll have more seed growing. Up here, we are a basil family. We absolutely love basil. And so I did three different types of basil and I did four plants each. So I have the dark purple opal basil that I got for free um, with my seed order. So I have four plants going of that. And then over here I have Emily basil. My daughter's name is Emily. So I was really excited to try this one. And these are supposed to be a shorter amount of stem between each set of leaves. So I have two in this one. And then I have two up here of that. And then I have four mamola basils up here. So that has plenty of room for the basils to grow up and get bushier. These are calla lilies. My husband got me calla lilies a few years ago for Valentine's. And um, I separated them this year, split them out because they were too full last year in this pot. So I'll have two pots of calla lilies. I have my, this table has to be wiped off. I watered my lavender today. But this is Lavender Lady. Um, I got this as a transplant this year. And um, I'm super excited to have that grow and use that for teas. Underneath here I have rocky top lettuce and I have strawberries. The strawberries I started from transplants on this tray and um, the salad from seed. I just watered it though so it's all falling over right now. Back here is going to be kind of my tea stuff. Um, that was going to be echinacea. The echinacea doesn't seem to be taking off, so I'm going to turn it into a German chamomile and then play with echinacea later. Um, I had gotten those seeds from a different place, and so I want to get the ones from Baker Creek, because all my Baker Creek ones seem to be um, germinating really well. So I'm going to do German chamomile over here. This is lemon bee balm, and that one's another marigold. And then um, this is Lottie Land Chamomile. It's going pretty well. This one I got last year, it's a citronella, and it grows really pretty purple flowers. And it has about tripled in size since last year. And I am super excited about this. This one helps keep the mosquitoes away from the pork area, um, which I really like. And in this big tub, I decided to do a ton of stuff in here. And most of it is sprouting. So I have golden beets um, sporadically throughout. I'll get closer and show you that. And then I have the Bloody Mary nastrums over here. 
Um, so I have a beat here, I have a beat over there, a couple beats over here, and then the nasturtiums here, and then I'll have a um, bush bean, Blue Lake, I think it's 274 Blue Lake bush bean that I'm starting from seed. So that should be coming up soon. Over here are strawberries that I started from seed indoors and then move them out because um, I needed the space. But they're already growing extra little leaves, which is awesome. So I've got most of them are coming up. Um, and these are Tresca strawberries and they'll produce strawberries the first year. More Rocky Top um, lettuce mix. And then over here I have more Rocky Top lettuce. And then um, down here I had gotten free lettuce seeds. These don't seem to be producing as well. But they are Merville lettuce on the bottom two trays. And then this trio is my corn. And then I planted stuff in my corn purposely. So I read that you need quite a bit of corn to um, actually get it to pollinate and produce fruit. So, or vegetable. And um, so I have corn throughout each of these. And then I have pole beans, purple potted pole beans in here, um, which have not sprouted yet. And then this one I have a long cucumber in. So one long cucumber there. I will have a nasturtium pop up here that I'm gonna train to come this way. And I have a board that I'm gonna have come over the side over here. Because corn is susceptible to the hornworms as well. And then in this one, I have a couple of dill on the outer corners. And then this one has lemon cucumbers in it and a pole bean. The pole bean will help since they're potted to give it back nitrogen into the soil. And then again, corn in this one, I don't have as much sprouting over here. Uh, and then a vegetable squash, and I think that zinnia is going to end up going. Over here is one of my favorite herbs. I got these from transplants this year um, from Green Acres, and this is lemon thyme. I've already taken a harvest off of it. I absolutely love this herb. Um, I just started using it in tea, but I use it in everything. Like, I absolutely love lemon thyme. And then French lavender back here, and then more Lottie Land chamomile. And this little thing, who looks dead, is really not. I guess they go dormant over the winter. It's already growing back. Um, some of it's green, which you can see over here. And this is lemon verbena. So my tips are starting to get little green pieces. And this is a high producer and it produces super yummy tea. Um, I did decide to put a zinnia down here. I went ahead and put that in the ground. And then um, a zinnia down here into the ground. Because I'm in an apartment, I'm very lucky that they let me do this. So that is my update where everything is now. Um, I was given a yellow pear tomato, little cherry tomato seeds. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna to try to grow those this year or not. And then um, I have a couple more little things coming in that are for the fall. And I think maybe a sunflower uh, and we'll see. But that is the garden update on where we are now and it's March 10th and I started stuff outside in February um, and I started seeds inside in January and February.